And the most important 15 minutes of Rick Wershey's life as a prison inmate are right around the corner. We'll start there tonight on Local 4 News at 6. 15 minutes is how long each side will have to argue over why Rick Wershey, better known as White Boy Rick, should stay locked up or go free on a 1980s drug conviction. Now, many feel Wershey has one of the most unfairly long sentences ever given in the war on drugs, while others believe he deserves every minute of the 28 years that he serves. Defender Kevin Dietz live with a look at the showdown coming up in March. Kevin, we've watched over so many years as Wershey's bids for freedom have been blocked. Uh, I, I, I think you believe it's his best chance yet. Yeah, here's the notice right here, and this is a huge step towards freedom for Richard Wershey. I had a chance to talk to Wershey from behind bars this afternoon. He is appreciative of this opportunity, and he's cautiously optimistic. I call it peaks and valleys. You have good days and bad days, and you know, it's like a, a roller coaster ride of emotions. Richard Wershey's roller coaster ride to freedom took a huge turn today with the Federal Court of Appeals scheduling oral arguments on allegations of cruel and unusual punishment. For the first time ever, the Michigan Parole Board will have to explain why they believe they've treated Wershey fairly. Ralph Maselli is Wershey's attorney. Murderers have been released, robbers have been released, rapists have been released. Wershey is the longest serving nonviolent juvenile offender in Michigan history. Arrested at 17 years old on cocaine charges, he's still behind bars 28 years later. Wershey has had only one parole hearing ever, and that was 13 years ago. The Supreme Court of the United States says that when a juvenile is convicted, you can't throw the key away. You have to give him, and the magic words are, a reasonable expectation of gaining his release. The showdown will be March 16th in Cincinnati's Sixth Circuit Court of Appeals. Each side has 15 minutes to make its case. The court has the authority to order Rick Wershey released on the spot if they're not satisfied with the parole board's treatment of him. They could also demand he have a new parole hearing or continue to let the parole board hold Wershey until they feel he is no longer a danger to the community. One major change now, Wayne County Prosecutor Kim Worthy says she will no longer fight Wershey's release. There's no words to describe how I, it makes you feel. I mean, I feel like she's doing the right thing, and I appreciate it more than she could ever know. Now, the Attorney General's office, run by Bill Schuette, will represent the Michigan Parole Board. It'll be their job to explain to the panel of judges why they have been fair to Richard Wershey and why they should continue to let the parole board decide when Rick Wershey gets out, if Rick Wershey gets out. It's become an international story, and right now in the city of Cleveland, Hollywood is filming a movie about this story, so you're going to hear a lot more about the Richard Wershey story in the weeks and months to come. Kevin Dietz, Defenders. And Kevin, there's also been uh, some state-level news on Wershey's case. Yeah, this is independent of the federal case, but the parole board has set up a meeting with Wershey where they sit down and talk with him one-on-one -on -one and say, if we were to let you out, where would you live? Where would you work? How can you convince us that you won't be a danger to society? That is scheduled for February 14th, Valentine's Day. If that were to go well, then Wershey would get a full public hearing where the public and others would debate whether or not he should get out. So on all fronts, this thing's sort of coming to a head, and it's looking pretty positive right now for Richard Wershey. Yeah. All right, Kevin.